This video is all about you, how we can strengthen our core, get that flat stomach. And guess what? I'm going to do them with you. Every exercise is going to be 45 seconds. I'll explain each one as we do it, and then we'll go to the next exercise. Try to utilize as many exercises as you can, and this is going to do great things for you. Our first exercise is either going to be using a water bottle. If it's too heavy for you, keep your hands out in front of you like this. What you're going to do is you're going to lean forward, and then you're going to go to the left, and you're going to go back to the right. If a water bottle is too much for you, because when you lean forward, those muscles are going to engage, then just do it without a water bottle. You can build weight as time progresses. 45 seconds, let's go. Hold it straight out in front of you like this. Three seconds, then go to the left as you're leaning forward and go all the way back to the right. And you'll feel the core engage, the muscles really contract out in front of you, then go to the left and go to the right. And these 45 seconds is ideal because you're going to do many exercises, but if you wanted to make this longer, you can do this on your own. Just concentrate on that core going forward, keeping that back straight. Just feel those muscles contract. Beautiful. Straight out in front to the left. Now they're burning. If you're doing it right, they're going to burn real quick. Beautiful. That's what you got to do. You're going to work up a little sweat. Now the next one is seated obliques. So we can work those oblique muscles, the external and internal obliques. Real simple. You'll sit up the edge of the chair, get your hands behind your neck. Are you ready? Here we go. Elbow to opposite knee. And do the best you can do. And if you go slow, it's still good because you're contracting those muscles. Beautiful. Just keep that good posture. Try not to slump over too much. Really twist as you turn. Twist and really get those obliques in here. This is what you want to do. Good. Just breathe it out. Breathe that stress out. There you go. You're going to work up a little sweat with me. So not only is this going to be good for your internal and external obliques, your tummy, but you're going to get your heart working much better too. Now let's do some seated scissor kicks. How are we going to do this? If this is a little difficult for you, you'll do your best. You're going to sit back in the chair. You've got to hold on to the edges on both armrests here. However is comfortable, lean back on the chair. Our legs go up. Now many of you may have a hard time lifting your legs up. If you can't lift it up here, do it down here. It's a lot easier. And what we're going to do is we're just going to switch them like this. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, you're definitely engaging the core. Try to keep it as tight as you can. And don't worry about how high you lift your legs. If you're down here, you're still going to gain lots of benefits. Just do your best. Just scissoring back and forth. Good. You should really feel your core engaging. Put your hand, one hand if you could, on your belly just for a second. Wow, these are excellent. I know it feels a little awkward at times. You may feel like you're a little sloppy doing this exercise. It's okay because as the muscles get weaker, when I say weaker, more fatigued, it gets harder. Your legs are not gonna to wanna to come up. Now, if you can't go 45 seconds, it's okay. Now we're gonna do some seated heel taps, just like it sounds. I'm gonna give you a little break on this one, but you're still gonna feel that core. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna keep your knees 90 degrees bent, just the way it is as you're sitting. In front of the chair, you can hold on if you like, and you go straight up and tap your heel. Straight up, tap your heel. But you're gonna come up slowly and drop down. You can actually come up slowly and go down lower, slowly too, depending upon how strong your core is. So let's go. Here we go. Straight up, tap the heel. Straight up, tap the heel. You're gonna feel the core engage. Good. Just breathe the best you can. You're really working those deep abdominal areas. And if you, if you find this too easy, you hold it up a little longer and go down slow. Otherwise, you can just bring it up and come down again. Tap the heel. Tap the heel. Try to keep your spine straight. Sit up tall. Focus on your abs. And to make it more harder for you, you can lift up higher and come down. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Now let's continue on with seated Russian twists. This time I want you to get a little water bottle in your hand. As light as you think is necessary or as heavy. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna lean back with your back like this. Put your heels out in front of you. You're gonna hold the water bottle like this. You can straighten your arms and you're gonna go to the left and go back to the right, just like this. All the way over the armrest. And I can promise you, you're gonna really feel those abs contract. They're going to burn on you. This is what I want you to do. I love this exercise. Go as slow as you want or as fast as you want, but not too fast. Make sure you're really isolating those key muscles, targeting the core. Good, this is about the pace you wanna go, right here. If you go any faster, you're gonna be throwing the water. We don't wanna do that. Really feel those, core contr those cores contract. Ah, it's good. It's a good burn. Beautiful. Just focus on the core. You'll really start to feel it burn. That's what we're looking for. Oh, wow. So now we're gonna do some seated side bends. Here's what you need to do. You're gonna take one hand. If it's my right hand, put it behind my neck. Your left hand's gonna fall off the chair like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach to the floor, all the way to the floor, and come right back again. Just like this. Let's go. Just like this. You'll feel the sides of the rib cage stretching. Keep that core engaged. Squeeze in that gut. I want those abs nice and tight. Really contract the core. Here we go. We're gonna be doing the other side in just a few seconds. So really work that core. Get that nice bend. Let's go to the other side. Other hand behind the neck. And that's it. Let's reach down, touch that floor, but try to sit up as straight as you can. I know it's a little hard, but do the best you can and squeeze that core. You'll feel those obliques. Beautiful. Let's go. Come on. We're sweating together. This is what we need. What a great cardiovascular workout we're going to get from this. So let's do the seated plank pose. We're going to do this lying on our back. We're gonna go back to a similar position, grab on the side of the armrest, and I want you to straighten your spine. Come down as far as you can, straighten your spine the best you can. Your buttocks is gonna to be towards the front of the chair. And now I want you to do, I want you to contract the abs. Let's go. Let those abs contract. Put your hands on your belly. They should be tight. If you got a lot of tissue out here, a lot of fat out in front, push down the, push down in the belly, You'll feel those abs contract, just contract them. Good. Just focus on the abs. As you do this, contract the abs. If it's too much, you need to rest, it's fine, and go back and contract it again. Total 45 seconds now, do your best. Just squeeze those abs isometrically, squeezing the abs, contracting all those ab muscles inside, outside, and all around. Just squeeze it nice and firm. Okay, you're doing great. You feel that burning in there? Keep holding it, come on. And now let's do some seated punches, exactly what it sounds like. We're gonna go half and half, 22 and a half seconds. We'll go on each side, here's what we do. We're gonna keep our hands out in front of us, and as we punch with our right, we twist to the left. Just like this. This is what we're doing. Punch into the right, twist to the left, punch to the left, twist to the right, okay? Are you ready? Let's do the right hand first. Ready? Let's go. Just feel those punches. Punch and twist. You could put this other arm wherever it's comfortable. Punch and twist. Really throw that punch out there. Sit up straight. Engage those core. Just punch and twist. You'll feel it if you're doing it right. Because as you come back and forward, you're going to see a big change. Let's switch it. Left one. Punch and twist. Punch and twist. That's what I want. Sit up straight, just move the core area. Not anything else, try to do your best. Punch and twist, that's it. Feels a little weird, because you don't normally punch things, but this is great when it comes to really working those obliques and the core. And lastly, our seated leg tucks. These can be a little difficult for many of you, but here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna sit back in the chair. You're gonna bring your knees up best you can, bring your legs out and go back down. Okay, knees up, go out and go back down. Now, for many of you, you may not be able to go that slow. You may wanna do it faster, but you also might wanna come up, hold it here a little longer. 
that's up to you. You can kind of arrange what works best for your body. As you do this exercise, as well as all the other ones, you'll notice in weeks ahead, you're gonna get much stronger. So, you ready? Okay, here we go. Let's bring the knees up to the chest. Hold it there a couple seconds straight out. Okay, and come down. If it's that hard when you come down, you can hold it on the ground a little longer and just do a little bit less of them. It's okay. Here you go. Up, boy, it's hurting. Straight out, come down. If you're tired, leave them down. Then come back up. Go back up, come back down. This is what it's like right here. Engage those cores. This is a very difficult exercise. You can change it around, make it a little easier for you, whatever works for you, but just do your best. That's what this is all about. Let's go. Almost done. I definitely give everyone a lot of credit. So do your best practicing these exercises. If certain ones are a little more difficult, choose the ones that work best for you. I will promise you, you will definitely see amazing results in the near future. Thanks for tuning into this video. Please share this video with your friends and family. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.